What is going on YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 back for another video. So I know in my previous video I said I was going to make Bumblebee, but I don't really feel like making Bumblebee right now, so we're going to make my other favorite VW bug from the movie. We're going to make Herbie Fully Loaded. So for the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want want to buy the VW bug from SouthernSanJuanSuperAutos.com. Uh, it's called the BF Weevil. It's $625,500. Or if you don't have that price unlocked, it's $870,000. Uh, once you buy that, you're going to want to go over to Los Santos Customs. If you don't know uh, what Herbie looks like, I suggest you bring up a picture. Um, okay. So now that we have a picture of Herbie, the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to repaint the car. Uh, we're going to make it frost white. Just give it the classic. Now, we're going to make it look like from the 2005 film, not the older film. So, uh, it's not going to be, you know, shiny like it is right now. We're going to add some rust livery. And it's not going to have the 53 on it. It's going to have a 35, but pretty much the same thing. Uh, the tires we're going to keep the same because uh, in the movie it has those tires on it so we really don't need to change those once you have that uh, paint on you're going to want to go there's a whole bunch of different options um, you can either make it like this or not the BF huh Okay, I guess for some reason it says BF on it. Or you can make it the 52. We're going to make it the 35, the Forgotten Racer. It's going to be $25,080. So once you have that done, um, I think, I'm not sure if his bumpers are the same. Yes, yeah, so you're going you're gonna to want to redo the rims. Because in the film... His rims are not white. They're actually all chrome. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put these rims on it. Classic rod. Actually, scratch that. We're not going to make his rusty look. Since I have the money, we're going to go with a nice shiny look. So... I can always make it look like that later. Uh, we're going to give him... We're going to make it this one. This is what we want. Okay, so after that... Uh, he doesn't have any good spoilers. Doesn't need skirts. So really all that's left is just... Um, make sure you buy bulletproof tires, obviously. And because he did participate in NASCAR, we're going to give him some decals on the tires. Uh, once you have that done, we're going to put in a roll cage. Uh, we're not going to do anything with the roof other than put a sun stripe on it. And then it's my custom plate. Um, no. Nope. Uh, bumpers, here we are. Okay, so he doesn't really have any good bumpers that you could put on. Small engine. So we're going to leave it like that. But that is how you make Herbie from Herbie Fully Loaded. And I just realized I forgot to put the engine upgrade in, but I'll do that later. So there you go. Herbie, fully loaded. Ready to rock and roll. I apologize if there's no sound in this video. I have my sound turned off on my TV. So, real quick, let me just... Because I realize he only has a single exhaust in the film, so... I'm going to see if we can put one exhaust on it, but we can't. Dang it. 
All right, so but pretty much once you have all that done, you know, it's just the little things: engine upgrade, you know, uh, transmission, and turbo. And there you go. We can put armor and brakes on it. Obviously, I didn't do that yet. But that is how you make her be fully loaded. Next up, I will be making Bumblebee. And then after Bumblebee, I will be making um, Hans uh, Mazda RX-7 from Tokyo Drift. And after Tokyo, and after the Mazda RX-7, I will be making DKs. If those of you who don't know, that's Drift King's car from Tokyo Drift, the Nissan 350Z. So that's it for this video. Hit the like and subscribe button, and I will see you all next time.